Okay, I'm just going to take you through the app daemon configuration process. This has changed slightly since they um, adjusted app daemon. So after you've installed it, you need to change the config with file editor. Unfortunately, the configurations move. So the first thing you need to do is go to settings, add-ons, file editor. If you haven't got file editor, remember to install it. Then in the file editor, in the configuration tab, there's something called enforced base path. Make sure you turn this off, otherwise you won't be able to see the app demon config. Now, when you go to file editor, what you'll find is that you can go all the way back here and you'll see this add-ons config directory. You won't see that unless you turn off the enforced base path. And then you're going to see app demon here. Ignore this above. This is nothing to do with the current um, prep bat. This is an add-on that I'm working on. Under app demon, you'll find the app demon.yaml. So here, you need to change this as it comes out of the box. So the first thing is your location doesn't really matter. Um, for the, it's not being used in these apps anyway. The time zone does matter. Make sure you set that correctly. If you don't set that correctly, there's going to be problems with the charging and discharging times in Prebbat. So obviously I'm in Europe, London, but obviously set it to your own time zone. This thread duration warning threshold that I've set is just to get rid of some warnings to say things are taking too long. It's not important, but you can set it. What is really important is this app dir setting. Notice it's the same level as these other settings in AppDemon. It's not indented among, inside this. And you need to set this to Home Demon, Home Assistant, AppDemon, Apps, or wherever you find your normal configuration directory for, for Home Assistant, and then the AppDemon Apps directory. This is really important if you're going to use hacks to install Fredbat that you get that in the right place. Um, this URL I haven't changed. Um, the logs, if you add this, you can actually keep a full log file at Predbat somewhere, which you can use to upload if you've got issues and to look at. So I've got logs, main log, file name, and I've put this again in the app daemon directory, the same one here, app daemon.log. I've set my log files, log size quite big. You don't have to set it that big, it'll rotate amongst multiple logs anyway, but this is basically like almost a day's worth. The other thing was there's a line here that said secrets. I've deleted that because I'm not using secrets through App Demon. If you do need it, then remember to set it to the Home Assistant secrets directory because it will be set to the wrong place. Once you've saved that, that's all set up in the right place and it should be able to find Predbat, which would live in the App Demon directory if you've installed it through hacks. So, uh, so when you go back up to um, Home Assistant directory. Once App Demon's running, you'll find the log file here. Um, so in the App Demon directory, that's the one we put it in. You'll see the App Demon log, the rotated ones, dot one, dot two, and dot three are the older logs, and then the apps directory. So open App Demon dot log. You can see what Prebat's been up to. You can see the time and um, and what's happening. So if we scroll to the end, that's the latest. Obviously check that it's now. That is about now. 12 o'clock on the 30th and you can see it's just run and I can't see any errors in there so that's good and then if I go into the apps directory I can see um, back red and you can see the redbat.py and the config directory with the apps.yaml which you obviously have to configure the other thing you'll see here just in the home assistant directory it should create something called Prebbot about dashboard.yaml and this yaml is actually the example dashboard which you can cut and paste into an entity list uh, and this will have all the entities that have been created in the current mode of Prebat. If you turn on expert mode you'll get more than if you don't. So um, with that in mind that shows that app daemon is all running and then hopefully when you go to when you look at Prebat you can actually see the status is idle. And so it's working. If you get this message, you've either not edited apps.yaml and removed the template and set it up properly, or you need to restart app demon if you've just done the hacks install. Notice in the attributes, it also says when this status was last updated. So that's now, so we know it's running. If it's really old, then maybe it's not been working correctly. It should update every five minutes and it shows you the current version. Okay, thanks then.